Hey! Hey! <laughs> well, I just have absolutely no idea what it is. I am so stoked! In this video, we're going to cool a PC with fire and then take it to Linus Tech Tips to overclock it to its limit. So if I understand correctly, we can go to sub-zero with this cooler and all it costs us is some hacksmith engineering and a little bit of propane fumes? I'm in. There's a physics phenomenon that you use every single day and I bet you didn't even realize. It's called evaporative cooling or enthalpy or vaporization. Basically, heat is pulled away from a surface when a fluid changes states from a liquid to a gas. These kinds of systems are all around us. In fact, your body uses the same concept in an open loop system. When you take a drink from your Hacksmith on store water bottle, when you get hot, your body releases sweat. And as it evaporates, it cools you down. Bogdan, what are you doing? Evaporative cooling. <laughs> Check out the back of this refrigerator. This is a closed loop cooling system. The liquid refrigerant starts compressed, and as it is sent through the lines, the pressure reduces, and it becomes a cold gas. This is what cools your fridge. The gas then makes its way back to the compressor, where it gets compressed back into a liquid, and the heat gets dissipated across the radiator on the back, thus completing the cycle. So what kind of fun can we have with this? Well, I was thinking about PC cooling. Typically, it uses a fan, which means your CPU can only get down to room temperature. And no matter how powerful of a fan you have, you're not gonna get your computer below room temperature. Linus. Whoa! Okay, whoa! What are we at? We're at 1300 watts overload. Guys, this is just the fans. Can you tell it's like windswept? So I had this counterintuitive idea. What if we could cool a PC below freezing using fire? Here's the plan. I'm going to take a propane tank and turn it upside down to release liquid propane into our PC. When the liquid hits our warm CPU, it'll expand into a gas and cool the CPU in the process. Instead of recompressing it back into a liquid for a closed loop system, we're just gonna dump it overboard and light it on fire. Let's get into it. The first thing we need for our PC is our vaporizer or our phase change cooling block. I've gone ahead and done a bunch of math to figure out the perfect nozzle to ensure we have lots of cooling and a long run time. We've got this little T-splitter, which has a nice flat base, which we can polish and make perfectly flat to attach to our CPU. And we've got this nozzle right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually solder these two together so that the cone sprays directly onto the bottom of our T-fitting. And that I'll do is make the bottom of this really, really cold, which is exactly what we want. As you can see, there we got our beautiful horizon. That needs to go right there. Whoop, whoop. Look at that. Actually, that's a beautiful cut. <laughs> it's a little hot. <laughs> got a propane line, we've got our bracket. That's probably sufficient. This goes upside down. So we're feeding liquid directly onto our CPU. Right now it's not, you know, it's at room temperature, so it should have quite a bit of degrees to cool off before it goes uh, below zero. Uh, ben is gonna light that so that we're not dumping propane into the atmosphere. Uh, we've got nothing flammable above, we've got nothing flammable around. Ooh, it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's really cold. Apparently it's 14 degrees. <laughs> Not very hot that here. Our goal is just to get this computer running um, with being cooled with propane. We're at 12 degrees. That's you know a good 10 degrees below room temperature right now. Right, so as we found out yesterday, this old Ryzen 5 1400 cannot handle sub-zero overclocking. Overclocking is telling the processor to run faster than it's normally meant to, and that creates a lot more heat. So the colder we can get it, the more we can overclock it. I've gone out and I've picked up a brand new motherboard. This is the ASRock X670E PG Lightning and a brand new Ryzen 9 7900X. You know, gotta do the old Linus, just drop the whole thing. Check this out. So I've puttied up the entire CPU socket. Should be nice and watertight. And hopefully get some sub-zero cooling going on or blow up our brand new, really expensive CPU and motherboard. I don't really know what I'm doing, so that's not a uh, out of the question. This is so ridiculous. This is... I cannot wait to see Linus's reaction when he realizes what this is. Okay, what? It's not tell gonna... It, it's no, no, it, it's it, not gonna do anything like scary, anything. right? No. Whew! Numbers are high. What do you say? Do we sub-zero this thing? I think so. That's full cooling open. Yeah, We're dropping right. temperature. Yeah. 19, 16, 13, 10, 7, it. 5, 2, 0! Okay, negative 2 or sub 0! Okay. Get some load on it. <laughs> negative 11, negative 12. We are literally flamethrower cooling a PC. 
We are running 5.6 gigahertz, reading six degrees at 115 watts on a Ryzen 9 7900X. <laughs> you can see the coolest part of the computer is the block. <laughs> uh, your, your lines are on fire, Bugden. I think we need a better radiator. What is going on? It's frozen and on fire at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> how cold do you think we can get it? You want to see how cold we can get this? Really? Negative 19, negative 20. Negative 21, negative 23, negative 24, we're still dropping. Totally. Negative 25. Why oh, don't you just keep spewing liquid? Those lines are fine. They're Buna and they can handle a little bit of warmth. <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything is under control. <laughs> that droplet of propane hits your skin, you're gonna first get frostbite and then you're gonna get third degree burns. Almost immediately. <laughs> right, we're back up to 20 degrees now, we're slowly Coming back, and this is this is where it gets dangerous, actually. And by dangerous, I mean everything that just frosted over in here is now slowly starting to melt. And I'm really hoping that my my silly putty and all my shoved in chop towel is going to be sufficient enough to mm -hmm. keep this thing from getting water in it. There's a few things we need. Obviously, me manually controlling the valve by hand is kind of not ideal. And then we need to make some kind of radiator so when liquid does come out of the other end, it's not spewing all over the hoses. So I think the biggest difference is going to be making this thing a little more reliable and easier to use and making it a little bit safer, whatever that means. To make the release of propane computer controlled, I'm going to be designing a PCB in Altium Designer. With the Altium OctoPart integration, it's super easy to find and add components to your projects. This circuit takes the signal from the CPU fan header and switches this solenoid valve on and off to control how much propane gets vaporized. If you want to see the full schematic diagram, check out the project on Maker.io. Alright, electronics are all good to go. Hey Charles, think back. There's never been a dull moment at Hacksmith Industries since we got sponsored by Gel Blasters. <laughs> Gel Blasters, the gift of the holiday season. Ah, this revolutionary toy blasts water-based gelets that are all natural and non-toxic. That means no stain, no mess, and no cleanup. Use my code HACK10 to get 10% off your order of the Gel Blaster Surge XL. Link in the description. I think I can honestly say that this is the most fun I've, oh, most fun I've had filming a sponsorship. They don't really hurt, but they have a bit of a sting to them, so they, it's still fun. Honestly, I'm gonna take one of these home with me. All right, Charles, get back to work. So as I was saying, the electronics are done. Let's see how Bogdan's doing on the flame expander. In order to make sure that we can actually make this out of sheet metal, I need to double check to make sure our holes are far enough from the edge so that they don't deform. So we know we're gonna be using 16 gig sheet metal and that's 0 0.0625. That's gonna be 6.35. We are 8.2 millimeters away from the edge. So I think this worked quite well. We have our two logos in the position of the fans and that'll make sure that we can distribute that propane nice and evenly, have a nice large flame and no liquid propane in our computer. And that is ready for laser cutting. what we figured out is our cooling system works really well, but we have no clue how to overclock a computer properly. Oh, crashed. Crashed. especially not to the power limits that this thing is capable of. So I think we need to call it an expert. And I think I know just the guy. That is cold. <laughs> I mean, if it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. CPU temps are holding un freaking believable. Linus has absolutely no idea what it is. I am so stoked. Do you want to see this? I think so, as long as it's not too dangerous. I mean, those guys, <laughs> oh, I was joking, but you guys don't sound like you're joking that much. Okay. Okay, what? Okay, I'm doing it. We're gonna cool a PC with... Yes, with fire. Fire. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah, an actual product? Um... <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't drop. 
don't get hit by the flames and don't die. <laughs> yeah. The warnings seem appropriate, but if it's on fire, everything's okay. And if you're confused, call hacksmith.store. But what I don't know is what exactly it is that I'm looking at and how this could possibly have anything to do with cooling anything with fire. There's nothing in this. No, this is just a flame expander to make sure that we don't get liquid propane on the computer. Ah, flame expander. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh! So if I understand correctly, we can go to sub-zero with this cooler, and all it costs us is some hacksmith engineering and a little bit of propane fumes? I'm in. You want to light it up? I mean, we've come this far! <laughs> Let's go! Why? <laughs> hey! <laughs> cool! Just a bit further away. Oh, that's so nice. Yep, that is very nice. Oh. What kind of specs we got on this computer here, Boggy? I believe this is running a Intel i9-13900K with over 800 watts of propane cooling. So we should be able to get this thing nice and cold and nice and fast. Uh, we're at minus 10 degrees Celsius so far, <laughs> minus 11. But the, and this is with restraint. This is with the regulator going. Yeah, this is about 10% uh, flow. This is just enough to keep the flame lit. We got a bit of wind back there going up. Oh. Oh, yeah. ah! <laughs> okay, let's start overclocking though. Let's give her should the beans. We, yeah, should we just give her the beans, yep. see what happens? All right, we are now deregulated. <laughs> Who needs regulations? I can hear the liquid propane <laughs> shooting into the flame expanders. <laughs> oh my goodness. Our poor case is coming apart at the seams, Alex. I, I can solve this. <laughs> 6.1 gigahertz, not too bad. And delicious. 4.5 on all the efficiency cores. This thing's actually ripping. Wow, we're almost at 42,000 points. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Daniel. Oh yeah, this thing's actually overclocking like a beast. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Hacksmith Industries may be the world's biggest absolute mad lads. By the way, I love your portable marshmallow roaster. Wow, the front of this case is looking pretty gnarly. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Started warping a little. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Having fun out here, eh, Boggy? Oh, yeah, totally. I'm just glad it's not my monitor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. Old hands ruined. Well, boys, did we succeed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> CPU got up to 6.3 gigahertz. 42,000 Cinebench. Beautiful. This thing absolutely rips. Nice work, boys. Also tasty, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, if this isn't proof that you can cool a PC with fire, I don't know what is. Make sure to check out the video Linus made to see how this PC was built. Thanks for watching. <laughs>